have a diamond and how many diamond boots. Let me explain that. So, what's going on YouTube? Sorry, welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today, I did some off-camera work. So, I went mining and found more diamonds. And I found six more to spare from my pickaxe. So, I have a pickaxe in here that I use. I'm going to put all this stuff in here. Shove it into a box up here. And my... my my plan is very simple to basically just, you know, drop mainly everything. Uh, I want to have our own little compartment for the ores. So we're going to go ahead and make a double chest for only the ores. Because I feel like the ores just need its own chest. So, crouch and then place. Oh, place. Nope. Place. There we go. Okay. So we're going to take all the ores out of here. And we're going to throw them... In there, um, what's that for? Okay, so we're gonna throw all the ores in here and mainly just have. No, I want to have diamonds down here. Um, mainly just have like their own little, you know, chest compartment area. So, uh, let me take the gold and melt it down. Let me put this in right here. Nice, so we just got a bunch of levels for that. All right, so we almost got a stack of iron. Now, if you guys saw my Instagram video yesterday. I wanna, you know, um, take this opportunity to um, say that I'm a huge WWE fan, and a WWE wrestler was uh, gone, went missing uh, yesterday. If you guys didn't see it on the news, um, WWE uh, ex WWE wrestler, or you know, former WWE wrestler Shad Gaspard went missing two days ago, and uh, I posted something about it on Twitter and uh, my Instagram. Um, and if you guys live in Venice Beach or Santa Monica area, that area around there, uh, by he was last seen at Marina Del Rey, and he got um he he saved it. it basically, he's a hero. So he died. Uh, he, I don't know if he's dead or alive, but I'm I'm pretty sure he's dead. Uh, I'm not you know doubting anything. Um, but he was last seen in a caught in a riptide with his ten year old son. He directed, or, t or like, you know, waved for rescuers to come save his son. And as they saved his son, another wave crashed down on him. And possibly killed him. I don't know if he's dead. He probably is. But there's been some evidence shown that he's sort of alive. But, um... I, I'm sorry to say this, but I, I don't think that Shad Gaspard is alive. I'm I'm in doing my research yesterday. I, that's why I didn't record a video yesterday. This is being recorded on the 19th of May. I wanted to record a video. Yeah, I did upload episode 2, but that was like um, the day before. That was on the the 17th when I didn't hear about this. Um, and Because I heard about this yesterday morning. I didn't hear about it that day. Um... And I've just been, you know, trying to research stuff. And I did find a little bit of uh, proof evidence. So, um, Shad Gaspard was going gonna go back to the... I'm just, you know, going to take part of this video to talk about him. Um, he uh, had a podcast. Um, FNG, I'm not going to say the word because that's it's not PG. Um, the podcast uh, title thing. Oh, it's no, it's NFG, and it's still it's not not appropriate for this um this video because it's, it's not a um, bad word, and I'm not gonna say bad words on this channel. Um, or, I I don't only on you know different games do I say that. Anyways, um, if you guys live in the Van Venice Beach area and you see him alive, please notify. Selene or Selena Gaspard on her Instagram, Selena uh, Selene Gaspard, because if you do find this man alive, like if you're on the water or something and you see um, a guy that's like I don't know he's like 265 pounds, um, he's I'm not gonna say black because that'd be racist, so African American, and um, he, yeah, he was last seen two days ago 
Um, if you see him in the water or something, or is somewhere like, I don't know, just hiding, please notify Selena Gaspard. Thank you. I was I was told um, to say that. I'm not a historical researcher or anything like that, but I just wanted to, because he was one of the funniest guys on TV from, you know, from my generation. I grew up watching him. So, um, you know, I, I grew up watching him, and I still watch the show. I watched the show last night to, uh, to see if they said anything about him, and I don't think WWE knows, and I don't think WWE cares. I did uh, tag WWE in that post, and they didn't look at it, and I'm assuming they never will. So, I mean, sometimes WWE forgets, but I really hope that they show on Friday. I'm going to watch Friday, too, and see if they actually... Do say something, because if they do, I will be the happiest person. I know Shad Gaspard wasn't really that um, good in the ring. I honestly found him talented in the ring. He was good. Um, but for, you know, for that, it's just, you know, I just, I just really hope they, they show tribute to him by, you know, paying tribute to him. Alright, now let's get to the video. I just want to say that so that if you guys do see him alive, please notify her because honestly, this is just heartbreaking for even for me. And he wasn't in WWE that long. He was in there for like three years. But he was probably one of the funniest guys I ever got to see on TV. Hilarious. And if, and if they, you know, if they kept him around for a little bit longer and pushed his career... He probably still would have been wrestling in WWE. No lie. He probably would have been like a future, um, you know, he probably would have been WWE champion. Or at least like, you know, have some sort of success. And he never won tag team gold, but he didn't need to. Um, he was a character. Definitely a character. Um, and, it, you know, it sort of, sort of came around to that. Um, you know, it sort of came around to that. Anyways, I'm going to stop talking about Shane Gaspard. He is still the news. Um, a lot of people are, you know, still talking about him. Um, and, you know, I'm okay with that. But, um, and I like talking about him too. I did a bunch of research yesterday, and I couldn't find anything. The other, only thing I could find is he, he went missing at Venice Beach um, at Marina Del Rey. So, if you guys, you know. Alright, I'm, I'm going to stop talking about Shad Gaspard. Now, let's get into the video. Ooh, lapis. Um, I, know, I know I talk about a lot of stuff, but I'm trying to, you know, if it's someone that has died that I know and grew up watching, I have to just say it. I, you know, I have to just say it. 2008 to 2010, I was like, gosh, I'm, I'm almost, eight, I'll be 18 in July, so I'm 17 right now. So that was when I was like eight or nine, I think, eight or nine at least. Yeah, eight or nine. And I don't even know if that's correct. Or probably eight, nine, or ten. One of those ages. And I, you know, I, I was flipping through the TV and I saw, um, you know, WWE. And then uh, that night I saw Shad Gaspard, JTG, and John Cena spray painting a a white limo on TV. And uh, I, I thought, you know, the way Shad Gaspard and JTG, they were they were um, funniest, you know. How about, you know, how, how do I put this in words for you guys to describe it? TV worthy of being on there. And to be fair, if they would have gave Crime Time a push, they probably would have been a tag team for a little bit longer. And they're still friends to this day. They are. Um, JTG hasn't said anything. Um... Someone said something about, you know, JTG, you know, saying, like, you know, leave the family alone, you know, uh, well wishes, um, you know, and stuff. And this is kind of similar to Kobe's death. This wasn't an attempted murder. Nobody murdered him. Um, so it fits in with Kobe's death. And... Hold on, okay, hold on. Let's, let's stop about the conversation for a second. Let's stop this for a second. How many diamonds are we talking here? How m I need to dig around this to see how many. Looks like... Let's see, there's four or five. I can make a diamond pick in enchantment. 
Um, I think it's four or five. Um, okay, I really don't want to mine these, but I kind of have to. One, two, three, four, five. I think that's, oh, seven. Oh, wait, I think seven. Six. We got six more, so we have 12 diamonds now in total. That is great. All right. You know what? You guys know what? You guys know what the drill is. Hold on, I got a notification about my Instagram. I have to keep checking this. Okay, it's just someone posted something. Um, I have to keep checking this because uh, honestly, I don't know why, why I care about this so much. But I just, I just feel like if I, you know, find any information out, I gotta, you know, let the wife know. I texted her and you know said I'm, I'm sorry for your loss and stuff on Instagram. She never responded back. Uh, but she said, if you have any information about my husband, please notify. And I, uh, yeah, haven't found any information so far. Um, I, I basically just stopped looking because I lost all hope. If he somehow survives two days out in the ocean alone, he's a, he's a true warrior. But I don't think he's alive. But hey, you know, um, you know, weirder stuff has happened. So, I mean, it wouldn't be weird if he was alive to just, you know, be super cold and um you know um you know, I've I've um I've never been to Venice Beach and I know I don't live hold on Four? Four. Ten plus six, sixteen diamonds, I think. Alright, last torch. There was a... There were diamonds up, like below this little pit in the area. And I dug it, but I couldn't get any of the diamonds. I only got like one diamond from it. So, oh, yeah, we're gonna, okay. So, we managed to find a bunch of diamonds, okay. So, I mean, if you guys live near Venice Beach or Santa Monica area, he, uh, he was at Venice, Venice Beach, uh, Marina Dora, he went 700 feet out and got caught in the So, if you guys live there, you get to see him, kind of a, hold on, let me look at the post here. Let me describe him so that if you guys do find him, I really need like help with this. Okay, so he is um let me see. He's still at the Bay Area. So Yeah, so him and um Okay, so she's using his account. Um, yeah. What? Wait, what? Okay. Hold on, guys. I just found something. So, this may be photoshopped, but... This is a text message between Shad Gaspard and JTJ. I'm gonna read it. I just saw this, and this is this is Shad's um, text. If I ever die tomorrow, highlighted. Uh, there's like an underline on it. Just know that I love you as a brother and friend for now, even past this life. And then JTG wrote back, "Love you, brother." Hashtag no homo. So I'm gonna take this as evidence. Um, I don't know if it's photoshopped. I'm gonna post that. I don't know if that was like. Oh, okay. So he okay. So he said January. 
But even if I die tomorrow, just know that. Okay. So this was in January. So this wasn't his actual day he wrote him. Um, but he did say if I would die. I don't know if this is true evidence. I'm going to post it on my thing. Um... I mean, he didn't seem like he was on any drugs at all. I, nobody said he was on drugs. I don't know. All right. Well, if you guys have any information, just okay. Let's just type it here. Let me go to his page here. Uh, oh yeah, let me go to the post. Hold on one second. Um, let me go to here. I can't see because there's a story post. Okay, let me go. Let me go to my post and show you guys. Okay. So he uh, was last seen wearing. Okay, so here I'm gonna show you guys a post here. Okay, I can't go on the full post. Okay. So this is what he looks like. Let me let me sure let me make sure this is in frame here. Okay, this is what he looks like. Tall guy right here. Um, he is. Oh, okay. He was missing as of May seventeenth, last seen at Marina Del Beach. Named Shad Gaspard. Height six seven. Weight 260 pounds. If you ever see him, call 911 or DM Celine uh, Gaspard on Instagram, Facebook, whatever you can find her on. Because, you know, it's just. This guy was like one of my childhood, you know, people that I watched. One of the funniest guys with Scripps and Cole. Um, I, I know this video isn't really talking about. You know me in the video in general. I just wanted to you know point this out because I didn't have Time to make a YouTube video about it. I only had time to make an Instagram video and I said hey, what's go you know? Hey, what's going on YouTube in, in the intro of the video because um, I Thought I was gonna post on YouTube, but I didn't but this is gonna be a video about it. Um, I went the wrong way Okay, let's just do this I don't lose my stuff. I have to keep on talking. All right. Um, let's go on game mode and fly over this is not cheating. This is I need to set my spawn in my house. That's what I'm gonna do as soon as there's a village in that way. Um, I think my house is over here. No. It's over here. Okay. So yeah. Let's. Is it not over here? It's not over here. Okay, it's gotta be. It's gotta be this direction then. Um. Yeah. See, there's a torch or whatever. Um. Oh, there's a big cave. There's a big cave right there. Um. Okay. So yeah, it's over here. Um. Oh, I feel like the last trip. Okay. So yeah. So if you guys, you know, last time you guys see him, height six seven, two hundred sixty five pounds, tall, African American guy named Shaggy Gaspar. If you guys see him. Please notify 911 or, um, you know, DM uh, family of the, the Gaspards. And um, if the Gaspards ever do see this video, I just want to let you guys know. I'm sorry for your loss of Shad Gaspard, uh, beautiful entertainer. I, I, I really did enjoy um, when he was in WWE. He was a funny guy, so. I haven't, um, I haven't, uh, I didn't know he had a TikTok, and then the other day I was on TikTok because uh, I was doing a TikTok on my own, and I came across it, and I was like, okay, well this, you know, this is Shad Gaspard's TikTok, and at the time when I was doing it like a week ago, he was still alive. He was, um, I think, uh, a couple days ago on his Instagram post, he lifted a tire, like a huge tire, at, uh, at like a place, and uh, I saw it, and I was like. Shed Gaspard. So I didn't think of anything of it until I heard that he was found missing. And I was I thought to myself, like, what? And it really broke my heart because Shed Gaspard isn't anyone, you know, personal to me. He's not my family. But he is still, you know, a person I, I grew up watching, you know? Him and, you know, him and JTG Crime Time and WB. So... Last time, see him, see him family, I found him online, because the police have been searching, haven't found him yet. I know, I know when, when a body 
If someone dies, their body floats to the bottom. All right, it doesn't, it doesn't float. It sinks to the bottom. After a few days, their body will lose weight. And then they'll go back up. So, hopefully they'll find him then. Um, if he is dead, so. Yeah. So, if you guys enjoyed the video, if you guys did, hit the like button. Shed Gaspard. Terry. Sorry. It's just, you know. I hate to see anyone go like that. And I've had. I've particularly never had anyone in my family die. But I lost my, my grandpa and my gr grandfather at a very young age. And it was really hard for me. It was my dad's parents. Um, and. I, I had to speak at my grandpa grandpa's funeral when I was in second grade. I spoke at my grandma's funeral. Um, and uh, I spoke at a family friend's. I knew him not that much though. Um, Adrian Lane Gavin. Then there was a, there was a. Um, the, uh, I'm a Jehovah's Witness. There was a brother in our hall that died. Uh, brother Saravia. He fell off a ladder and was supposed to go to the doctor that day and he went to work. So, you know. Yeah, so I you know, I just I just hate when people die, it's not right. So see you guys later. Rest in peace. Shed Gaspard.